Goodlinks is my new favorite rated later app. And in this video, I want to go over some of the features and convince you why it's the best. So I'm on the website for Goodlinks and it's called Goodlinks, but honestly, it's really focusing on reading articles online and saving them for later. The one caveat with this app, it is Apple centric. So iPad, iPhone, Mac. So if you have those devices, it's going to be, it's going to work great for you. So save, read anywhere. It has a really clean interface. It removes all the clutter from websites and I'll show you this in a minute and has a bunch of other cool features like exporting and I'll talk about that it has a notebook feature for all your highlights taking notes the highlights have colors and it works really well in terms of iCloud sync across all your different devices now let me show you the price comparison and why Goodlinks is such a great value so Goodlinks costs ten dollars a month and it's actually more generous than that. It's $10 for all the features you have when you download the app and then you get updates up to one year. And then after the one year, you have to pay additional $10, which I think is a great value and a great price and reasonable for an app that lets you read articles for later, right? There's a lot of apps out there. Insta paper is $60. Now there is a free version, but the big thing for me when it comes to read later apps is the ability to highlight articles and look at them later. That's a big central part of my system and you're limited with Instapaper or Pocket. You can't highlight to your heart's content and good links you can highlight as much as you want. Readwise is $120, which is super expensive for a read later app. It has a lot of robust features, but for me, it's it's overkill. I don't need something with so many different features. Pocket is very similar to Instapaper. It's one of those legacy read later app. And then there's another one. There's another app called Matter that is $60. Again, limited functionality for the free version. So good links in terms of value, fantastic. The only caveat here, as I mentioned, is it is not cross-platform. So if you have a Windows device or an Android phone, it's not going to work for you. Now, let me just show you how the app works. And I have the app here and the interface here. Super nice, super clean, follows Apple's design principles. There is a list here for any unread articles or anything that you put into your inbox, starred articles, anything that's untagged, articles you've read, articles with highlights, and then every single article. So I have 246 articles saved. And then I have a bunch of tags here, which are great to find specific topics that you're looking for that you've read in the past. Now, let me show you how I save articles. So let me go to an article here for Wired. And I have this saved already, but the way I do it, the Chrome extension, for good links works pretty well, but it also works quite well with Siri shortcuts and it has a whole bunch of Siri shortcuts. But what I can do is here, I can right click here and I can copy link address. And the reason I'm doing this for Wired Magazine is sometimes they have a, a pop-up that comes up because they want to, wants you to log in to read the article. But if you copy the link, you can actually get the full article. I have a little menu here for my shortcuts. And the first one here is Chrome to good links. And if I click on that, it automatically takes what's on my clipboard and pastes it into good links. You can also open up good links and use this plus icon here. What you'll have is an article like this. So I took this Tim Cook wants Apple to literally save your life article. It basically takes all of the images. It keeps those intact, but it removes all the kind of clutter of the reading experience on the internet, removes all the ads. And then you can go through here, read the article. Let me collapse this window here. So I have a nice, great view of this article. And then what I can do is I can find it, maybe a paragraph here, and then I can highlight here, or I can add a note and I can do a yellow highlight. You can change the co colors of the highlights as well and have a system around that. You can also open up this note pane here. And if you open this up, you can see all, all your highlights. You can get right to them like that. So really nice, clean design here. Another feature I really like about Good Links is the ability to, to use tags for articles. So if I just press E here, it'll open up the edit window and it has a URL. I can, I already have a tag here called Apple, which makes sense. And then the title of the article and the summary, you can edit all the stuff, all the metadata here. You can mark it as red and you can add it to the starred list as well. So I'll just cancel out of here. And the tags here work really well to organize by different topics, things you've read before. If you want to get back to a specific type of topic, I have a whole bunch of articles on finance here that I can scroll through, find what I'm looking for. You can also obviously search for articles. You can look at highlighted articles and this goes by most recent, but you could change the order as well. Or you can sort by save date, title, length, newest versus oldest. And then with the tags, you can have multiple tags. So if I go back to this Apple article, I'm gonna press E again here. I'm gonna put, this is also tech. And you can see my, I have existing tech here. 
and I can update. Another feature I really love about Good Links is the ability to export articles out of Good Links to other services. And I actually use other services like my Kindle to read articles because I don't want to be distracted by my phone or my iPad. So one of the nice things is if I want to take this nice long article from Wired, I can just go here to the share icon here and you can see I can go to send to Kindle here. If I do that, it'll pop up and it's going to send this to my Kindle device. And now I can read this nice long form article on my Kindle. Obviously the highlights I make on my Kindle won't sync here, but if I have a couple highlights I really like, I can go back and do some manual highlighting. And that's kind of my workflow. I do a lot of reading. I save in good links, but then I read a lot of long form articles on my Kindle because it's just a nicer experience. So that's just a quick look at Good Links. It's my new favorite Read It Later app. I think the value is just there, $10 a year, unlimited highlighting, great syncing across devices. Only caveat is you have to have an Apple device, which I think a lot of people do. If you haven't checked out Good Links, definitely check it out. I think it, it's definitely better than Instapaper or Pocket if you're paying for those apps. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.